We'll find the least common multiple, or LCM, of three numbers, 15, 40, and 50. The first thing to check before starting in on a pro procedure to find the least common multiple is the largest number, 50, is it a multiple of the other two numbers, 15 and 40? It is not. If it is, then you don't have to do any more work. But in this case, it's not, so we need to go through a procedure. We'll use the prime factorizations of each number to find the least common multiple of these three numbers. We find the prime factorization of 15, which is 3 times 5. We find the prime factorization of 40. 40 is 8 times 5, and 8 is 2 times 2 times 2, and then times 5. So the prime factorization of 40 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. The prime factorization of 50, since I know 50 is 2 times 25, its prime factorization will be 2 times 5 times 5. Now we can use those prime factorizations to find the least common multiple of the three numbers. We look at, for example, 15. The any multiple of 15 has to contain factors of 3 and 5. Any multiple of 40 has to contain factors of three factors of 2 and one factor of 5. Using that logic, our least common multiple has to contain, in, for 40 it has to contain three factors of 2, for 50 it has to contain one factor of 2. We don't need four factors of 2, we just need three. Looking at the other primes that are in the list, there's a 3, and the most time, the most time that it occurs in any factorization is three, one time, so we write a factor of 3. And then there is another prime factor that appears, and that's 5. There is one factor of 5 and 15, one factor of 5 and 40, and two factors of 5 and 50. So we will need two factors of 5 for our least common multiple. We can say <clears throat> that we use each factor the greatest number of times that it occurs in any one factorization. So this is the least common multiple, and if we multiply this out, we get 600. So I can say the LCM is 600.